Hello guys, welcome to another interesting edition of GTL Social Bars right here on Ghana Talks Radio. I answer to the name Regina Bliss. Chatawale has challenged Stone Boy to a dance showdown at the Accra Sports Stadium to determine who reigns supreme in the dance scene. He stated that if Stone Boy refuses, he should be considered a reggae artist rather than a dance one. This comes after Stone Boy reacted to an article omitting his name from the list of pioneers of hip life in Ghana, mentioning Shatawali, Rutai, and Samini instead. Shatawali's challenge aims to settle the dispute and prove his dominance in the dance hall journal. U.S. appeals court has revived the lawsuit against TikTok over a viral blackout challenge that led to the death of a 10-year-old girl. The court ruled that TikTok's algorithm recommending the challenge to the girl's account makes the company liable as it constitutes first-party speech not protected by Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. The girl's mother, Anderson, sued TikTok and its parent company, ByteDance, after her daughter, Nyla, died in 2021 attempting the challenge. The court's decision reverses a lower court judge's dismissal of the case and allows the lawsuit to proceed. To our next story, Ugandan police have arrested Ndamulari Godfrey, a self-proclaimed traditional healer, after finding 24 human skulls, animal remains, and skins in his shrine in Kambala. Godfrey may have been using the skulls for human sacrifice and could face life in prison under the Prevention and Prohibition of the Human Sacrifice Act. The Traditional Healers Association has distanced himself from him. This is the second such discovery in recent weeks, with 17 skulls found in a shrine in Impigi district last month. The discoveries are linked to human sacrifice for ritual purposes, driven by beliefs that magic charms made from human body parts bring good luck or curse enemies. And that's a wrap on GTL Social Bars. Do well to stay put for more updates. The name still remains Regina Bliss.